Listen, are you sure this is what my grandfather said to me? Yeah, I'm positive. Yeah? Yeah, I thought it was funny that we would meet this late, but... This is the time he told us to. Alistair Crane didn't build his empire working nine to five. Good evening. I'm sure you all know Miss Fuller. Oh, yes. One of your uh, special assistants, right? Hello. The uh, last time the three of us spoke, I gave you each a challenge to uh, come up with a proposal for the Singapore project. Right, yeah, no, that was, uh, that was this morning. I haven't had time to finish. Neither have I. Oh, it certainly doesn't surprise me, since both of you feel that work is less important than going to Luis's funeral service. I was there for Sheridan. And so was I. She's family. Ah. Well, my daughter's an idiot. She always gets involved with people who are not worthy of her. Huh. You mean the guy who punched you at the church? Yes, exactly. Sheridan's uh, taste in men has always leaned toward Neanderthal. Well, both of you can relax for now. I didn't expect you to finish the project tonight anyway. The reason I call this meeting is to tell you I decided to give you specific challenges to help you along the way to your final presentation. Mm-hmm. Looks like a test. Looks like several tests. No, the Donald has nothing on me. And I'm sure the both of you have been working on your projects, right? Yes, I've made a lot of progress. So have I. No well, good. Then these little tests, as we call them, uh, will help you uh, with your final presentation. Our team won't have a problem, sir. Neither will we. Well, good. Then the... Uh, we shall see the first phase tonight. And after I look at it, I'll uh, decide who the winner is. Good. And we'll just move on to the uh, next phase. That's correct. And uh, remember that uh, the person who uh, chalks up the most wins and comes off with the winning proposal will secure his place in Crane Industries. The loser is out. You say you love me, but I know you must mean as a friend because of how I feel about your son. No, Sheridan. I love you, and not just as a friend. I don't know what to say. How could you? I came into your life such a short time ago, and you were still grieving the loss of Luis. I didn't mean to fall in love with you, or anyone else for that matter. But the more time I spent with you, the more I fell in love with you. I've fallen utterly and deeply in love with you, Sheridan Crane. Ethan, please come back to us. I don't envy Dr. Russell when she has to speak to the family. I mean, there's a good chance this patient will die. And if mm. he doesn't, well, you know. I know. It's Terry Shivo all over again. Mm. I hope uh, Mr. Winter has a living well. Oh. No, please, don't, don't say that. No, he, Ethan is going to make it. I know he will. What's going on? What's happened to my husband? I'm sorry, Mrs. Winter, if his condition hasn't changed at all. Well, well, then what was she shrieking about? You just said that, that he was going to die. And you said that, that if he didn't, that he would end up on life support. You said he wasn't going to come back. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. We were only discussing the possibilities. No prognosis has been made yet. You said he hoped he had a living will. You know, Teresa, no one needs you standing around here getting hysterical. Would you please just go home? Yeah, yeah, she is not allowed in there. I mean, she's the reason Ethan's in there in the first place. She tried to kill him. No, it was an accident. Damn it, Teresa, go home. Get the hell out of here. I'm not leaving, not until I see Ethan. Why? Because you want to finish the job? What's going on? Oh, just Teresa standing here acting as if it's her husband in there. How is he? I mean, tell me that they're wrong. Tell me that the nurses are wrong. The nurses? They said that, that, that he was going to die. 
and that if he didn't, he was going to end up brain damaged on life support. I'm sorry, Dr. Russell, we were just speculating. Eve, please tell me that's not true. Ethan's not going to die or be brain damaged, is he? piece of my heart with him. I don't think you realize how much your little boy means to my life. Yes, I do. That's one of the reasons why I fell in love with you, Sharon. Thank God he's going to be okay. Yeah, thank God. I couldn't bear losing him again. And as I was leaving Harmony, I realized I couldn't bear not seeing you again. That's why we came back. I'm glad that you came back. It was selfish of me, I know, but... Now at least you know why. So that's why you don't want me to go into the witness protection program with you and James? Because you... because you love me? I would want nothing more for you to leave with us, to be with us forever. But I can't ask you to make that kind of sacrifice. But it wouldn't be a sacrifice. Yes, it would. You'd have to leave everything and everyone you love. You could never contact them again. Uh, you couldn't even tell them where you were. I realize that. I also realized that my father does not want me to be happy. I still can't believe that a man can be so cruel to his own child. Well, you don't understand the depths to Alistair Crane's cruelty. Look, you still have your, your brother and your mother and, and all your friends. My mother would be the first one who would want me to leave. She had to escape my father's evil herself. And Ethan and Gwen and Pilar, they can't protect me from my father. Neither can my brother Julian. Well, Lewis must have obviously had some strength of character to stand up against your father. You stood up to my father, too. When you hit him in the church, you humiliated him in front of all of those people. You've put yourself in even more danger now. I'd hit him again if he ever touched you. Luis is the only other man I've seen stand up to my father. He must have been a very noble man. He was. He thought that he could protect me, too. But in the end, loving me is what caused him to die. <laughs> I don't believe that. I think loving you is what kept him going, what kept him searching for your son. And even if your father had him killed, it's... You can't blame yourself for that. Well, I do blame myself. Because if Luis had never met me, if, if he never fell in love with me, my father would have had no reason to go after him. And that's why I want you to leave. I want to come with you. Sheridan, sure, no, I cannot put you in that kind of danger. Every day I wake up fearing that the mob is going to come find me and my son. I can't have you live with that kind of fear. I'm prepared for the danger. I'm also prepared to leave everyone that I love behind. Sheridan, for all we know, the man who ran James over is connected to the mob. I can't risk anything happening to you. The FBI will protect me if I'm with you. They'll try. I wish it could be. It can be. Look, I've already lost Luis. I've lost my baby. I need to get out of here before my father can do anything else to anyone else that I love. I wish I could stay here and protect you from your father. Well, you can't. That's why you need to leave, and I want to go with you. I wish I didn't love you. But I do. I can't put you in that kind of danger. I just can't. No. We're sorry, Dr. Russell. Eve, is Ethan going to die or need to be on life support? His condition is not good, Gwen. Gwen, what happened? What happened to my son? Oh, Mama. Did I tell what happened? Ivy, did you call Sam? Yeah, I called him as soon as I, I heard, but I don't understand. Your message said Ethan was poisoned? He was poisoned. By her. <gasps> Dios mio. What? Ethan was poisoned. He is on a ventilator, all because of her. It was an accident. Oh, my God, he's on, on a ventilator? Eve, what's happening to Ethan? I was just about to update everyone on Ethan's condition. 
He's stable for the moment, but he is not breathing on his own, and he is unresponsive. So I think it's a little too soon for us to be making any predictions about the future. Eve, there's got to be something more you can do for him. There isn't anything we can do, Gwen. All we can do is let time go by and wait and see. He could gain strength and, and come right out of it. Or he could live for a very long time without ever regaining the ability to see or hear or speak. Oh, God. I, I don't understand, Teresa. Why would you poison Ethan? Because she is insane. She is crazy, and we all know it. Teresa, is this true? It's not the way that they're saying it. Yeah, it is true, Teresa. You poisoned my husband, and now he could die. At last. Can you take coffee break? Um, you know what? I really don't have time. I gotta finish this thing. Um, I know. I did a search on all the other companies, like you asked, and I did a comparison chart. Yeah. Does it look like that? I already did it. Oh. Well, I could start downloading what you need in personnel stats for the first phase. Yeah, there it is. I already did that, too. Well, uh, since you don't need me, I'm gonna go home and see my daughter. Go, whoa, 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 hold on. You can't go home. I need you here. You can't go. Mm, I don't think you do. Looks like you got it covered. I'm just in the way. No, 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 wait. I, I don't want you to think you're in the way. You know, it, it's just... I mean, look, Al Alistair, he threw us this curveball with all these new tests. You know, I, I just think it's too important for me not to, um... not to handle it on my own, that's all. Yeah, I understand. Go yeah. for it. Yeah. See you later. warned this could happen when she begged me to cast that spell. But she's still crushed. As Fox becomes more and more obsessed with his work, she's going to have to pay for his success with the loss of their love. Oh, well, I can't worry about her now. Love is for losers, Indora. Your chances of winning this contest just keep getting better and better. Why is that? What do you mean? Well, you have me for one thing. <laughs> so, well, Fox has Kay. Not anymore. He sent her home. He said he wanted to handle the presentation of the first phase alone. You are kidding me. Does he really think he's that good? Apparently. But we do know differently. And he'll probably blame Kay when he loses. <sighs> Jerk. Yes, but he's our jerk. Kay is not all that secure to begin with, and if I can play on those insecurities, she won't be much help to Fox. This is the way to go, baby. I just have to keep it up. How do you have the nerve to be here? Ethan could die because of you. Teresa, tell me what happened. Please tell me you did not do this. I didn't. Yes, Teresa, you did. You poisoned him. I would never hurt Ethan Gwen. That's a lie, Teresa. You have done nothing but hurt Ethan since the day you came into my home pretending to be a friend, pretending to be Gwen's friend. You insinuated yourself into our lives. I mean, we even hired you to design Gwen's wedding dress. And all you were doing was trying to get close to Ethan. You have caused him nothing but pain, and you have tried time and time again to take him away from Gwen. I lost my granddaughter because you fought with Gwen and caused her to miscarry. That was an accident. That was not an accident. No more than this was an accident. No, you know that's not true. I would never hurt Ethan. I love him. I don't know, Teresa. Maybe you decided if you can't have him, you'd rather see I him would dead. never. Gwen, please. 
You can't believe that Teresa would do this. I believe it, Pilar. But I am telling you something. This is the last time you will ever hurt my son. If he should die, or God forbid, have to spend the rest of his life in a hospital bed, unable to enjoy life, unable to be a father or a husband, then by, by God, I will make you pay somehow. I swear, I will make you pay. Tell her, Ivy. I can't believe you are my passion all night. Oh, Kay, what are you doing home, dear? Oh, don't act surprised. I know you've been spying on me and Fox in your bowl here. Me? Spying? Yes, you, spying. Well, I am always kind of curious to see the effects of a spell when I go to all the trouble of casting one. Your spell stinks. Listen, dear. You were the one who insisted I cast that spell to make Fox successful. Yeah, well, you didn't tell me until afterward that it could mean he would fall out of love with me. Well, I told you the price could be high, but you didn't seem to care. You just went headlong into your plan. Yeah, well... I just thought that our love was stronger than your magic. Yes, I know you did. Now you're finding out that you were wrong, aren't you? Okay, don't rub it in. Anyway, I'm sorry that Fox dismissed you so rudely. No, you're not. And I understand, though, why he did it. You know what? I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna wish him luck on the presentation. Oh, no, Kay, don't know. Did he just dismiss you again, dear? I'm going to let him know that I'm rooting for him. <sighs> Hi, um, it's Kay Bennett. Is Fox there? He's unavailable? Oh, okay. Thanks. I told you. <sighs> yeah, well, if he knew it was me, he would have taken the call. I'm going to try my so. No answer there either. No. It's voicemail. Ah, it's as I told you, Kay. As Fox becomes busier and busier, he will have less and less time for you. You can't outfox my spell, you know. No. Oh, pardon the pun. <laughs> All ready, Fox? Always ready, Valerie. Where's Kay? Um... She had to take care of something for me. Gosh, must be pretty important for her to miss being here for this. I mean, at least to give you moral support. Yeah, I'll be fine on my own, thanks, though. Okay, whatever you say. Hey, Valerie, did you bring the spreadsheet on the materials division? Yep, right here. Great, thanks. Where's Kay? She's taking care of something for me, Chad. I assume you're both ready? Absolutely. Yes, sir. All right, let's hear it then. <clears throat> Fox, uh, where's your assistant? Right. She is uh, taking care of something for me. So. Oh. I guess you're on your own then, and I don't have uh, much time, so let's make it quick. Fox, you're up first. Thank you. Look, I know you're worried, but I'm not afraid. I know you'll do whatever it takes to protect me and James. But what if I can't? James and his mother had to get away from me just to be safe. I know how much you loved Maureen. I did. And I will always feel responsible for her death. But you don't have to die, Sheridan. I wouldn't be able to bear it if anything had to happen to you. And James... He's fallen in love with you, too. He'd be devastated. Nothing will happen to me as long as I'm with you. I'd like to believe that. If only times were different, if my life were different, maybe we'd have a chance. That is, if you have feelings for me. 
Have you fallen in love with me as well, Sheridan? No matter what you think that I have done to Ethan in the past, what I, I think you have done, Teresa, what I think, I know what you have done. Every evil, despicable thing. But this is the most despicable. I mean, do you deny that you drugged Ethan and Gwen's surrogate so you could steal Gwen's embryo? Do you deny that you drugged Ethan so, so he would sleep with you and get you pregnant when you thought you miscarried our embryo? You stole my son from me, Gwen. I was desperate. desperate yes, desperate oh. is exactly how I would describe everything you do. And this time you were so desperate that you tried to kill my son. Ivy, don't do this. Don't, Pilar, don't. Don't you defend her. No. I know she's your daughter. But you have closed your eyes to her evil, outrageous behavior long enough. Because of you, my son could die. I don't want him to die, Ivy. I want him to live. He has to live. <laughs> you don't want him. It's always about what you want and what you need, isn't it, Teresa? Well, do you know what I want? I want you to be the one in there close to death. Why aren't you the one unable to live out your life? Ivy, my heart is breaking for Ethan, but Teresa did not do this. Yes, Pilar, she did do it. Your daughter is a vicious murdering bitch. You're 100% right, but we shouldn't waste any more time on this psycho. We need to spend our time with Ethan. Dr. Russell, may I please see Ethan first? Don't I... you dare! Don't you even think about going near my husband again! If you do go near my son again, Teresa, I will kill you. Please, everyone, I know this is a terrible time for all of you, but this is not helping. Eve, what, what can we do? What can we do to help him? Teresa needs to be put away. She needs to be put away where she can never hurt anyone ever again. Why hasn't she been arrested? She tried to kiss son. There's an investigation going on, and you believe me, she's going to be arrested. No creo que está pasando, Teresa. Tell them. Tell them you didn't do this. Mama, it's not going to do any good. They're not going to believe me. You're right, Teresa. We won't. Exactly how Teresa poisoned Ethan, don't you, Eve? You know, because you're the one who gave her the drugs to do it. And even though she hasn't implicated you yet, don't worry. I will, eventually. But right now, I don't think we really have to wait to see what's going to happen with Ethan. I think Teresa should go to jail right now, before she can harm anyone else. Do you love me too? Chris. No. Yeah, I'm sorry. You don't have to answer. I had no right to ask. It's too soon. You haven't had time to grieve. I shouldn't have told you how I feel. No, I'm, I'm glad you did. I know it's selfish of me, but I just wanted you to know why I can't take you with me. You're being very noble. <laughs> I'm not noble. I'm an idiot. I should have taken my time to romance you pulled up to the fact that I was going to tell you that I love you. Problem is, I don't have any at that time. But I just wanted to be honest with you. I'm glad I know how you feel. I haven't always been this open with my feelings. But since I lost Maureen, I realized there's no sense in keeping your feelings to yourself. As you know, when you lose somebody you love, it changes you. Yes, I know. So you understand why I can't take you with me. I don't want you to live in this kind of danger. You have to stay. And I have to go. Hi, baby, it's me. I'm here with your mother. We're here. I want you to know you're going to be okay. You're going to come home and, and you're going to be just fine. I know, I know you can hear us, Ethan. I know you can feel us with you. And you know how much we love you. We're praying for you to come back to us. Oh, God. Ethan, honey. I 
can't lose you. You're my wonderful, my beautiful boy. Dear God, please don't take him. God, I know you can bring him back. I know you have the power to bring him back. And I'm begging you to let him live and let him be okay. He has so much to live for. He has so many people that love him and need him. He has a daughter who needs him and I need him. Please don't let Teresa rob him of his future. She's taken so much from us already. Please let him live. Please let him live and be okay. Uh, look, I'm needed in the ER. I'll be back as soon as I can. You should go. Come on. No, Mama, I can't leave. I need to stay here. I have to explain everything to Ethan. Please, Mama. All right, fine. I don't think Gwen's going to allow you to see Ethan. We can wait. They're mistaken, right, Dennis? I mean, I, I know you could never do something like this. Try to kill Ethan. It was an accident. Okay, you keep saying that, but I don't know what you mean. Did, did you give him the poison by accident? trying to kill Alex Jones. What? What? I put these drugs in the guacamole and Ethan ate it instead of Alistair. Do you realize what you're saying? You admit that you deliberately tried to kill Alistair? He's a monster, Mama. And I couldn't take it being his whore. I just... Okay, I shh. Okay. I know what you're going through is horrible, and he is a despicable man. But it is God's place to punish him, not yours. And you told me not to get involved with him. Everybody told me not to get involved with him, but I was too stupid to listen. So this was the only way out for Alistair to die. Every time I think that you have done the worst thing that you can possibly do, that I say you do something even worse. Ethan shouldn't be lying in there. It should be Alistair. He's the one that should be in the morgue. That is like, you know that murder is a mortal sin. What Alistair does to me, Mama, is a sin, and the only way out was for him to die. Okay, then leave him, divorce him, but don't try to kill him, Teresa. I can't do that. He said if I left him, then he would take my son from me, and he would make sure I never saw him again, and Gwen already has my daughter. This, this was the only way out for me. This was the only way for Alistair to die. Where did I go wrong with you, Teresa? I mean, how, how did I raise a child who will do whatever she has to do to get what she wants, no matter what the consequences? I would give my soul to save Ethan, Mama, and if he, he doesn't come out of this. Okay. I know you didn't mean to hurt Ethan. I know that, Teresa, but I am so afraid for you. I'm so afraid about what's going to happen now. There she is, officer. Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald Crane, the woman who tried to kill my son-in-law. Come on. I want you to arrest her right now. Well, yeah, the fruit. Maria looks so peaceful. Gosh, I wish I could say the same for myself. Oh, I'm sorry, Kay. I know you're depressed about Fox, but I did warn you, dear. Yeah, I know you did. But it doesn't make it any easier to live with. Well, you've got your beautiful little daughter. And that's all we need, isn't it, Indora? Hmm? <laughs> Fox, hey, what happened? Oh, no. Oh, you lost, didn't you? Hey, well, don't worry, okay? It was only the first challenge. You'll do better next time. Thanks. But, um, you know, I don't need it next time because, um, I did it. I nailed it. I won. What? Yeah. You won? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Alistair was blown away and, and Chad is out. Ah, oh, that's fantastic! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, listen, not only was Alistair blown away, but he was so impressed with my presentation, he's treated us out to a night at the Seascape. 
It's reading us? Yeah, us, as in you and me. So, you know, get your stuff and okay. uh, let's go. We're out of here. That is, unless, uh, you know, you mind babysitting. Oh, no, I'm always happy to take care of Maria Fox, by the way. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I got to tell you, I was sweating it, right? But the research you did for me was, was absolutely amazing. And now all I want to do is celebrate oh. with the woman that I love. <laughs> I can't believe I lost. I mean, Fox's presentation was too damn good. Don't get down on yourself, Chad. Alistair didn't have one good thing to say about my presentation. But he didn't say anything bad either. All he said was at this point in the competition, Fox was ahead. Well, my book, I lost. Well, maybe you lost this one, but it's just the beginning of the battle. We still can win the war, Chad. I don't see how. We can make sure Fox doesn't win again. I don't want to fight dirty. Okay. It's business, Chad. You got to get dirty sometimes. And Fox isn't above it either. He'll do whatever it takes to make sure he wins. <sighs> yeah. You're probably right. I know I am. We can beat Fox. And I still think the way to do it is to use K. <laughs> Chad, you can't let this defeat get you down. I'm not really down, Valerie. I know I can win this. I just, I need to regroup. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to send out for some food so we can go over your presentation and compare it to Fox's. Are you up for working late? Yeah, I'm ready. More importantly, are you ready to do whatever it takes to beat Fox? Whatever it takes. Mr. Crane, I didn't know you were still here. I was just on my way out. I, I couldn't help but overhear the advice you were giving Chad. I'm very impressed, Valerie. You are? Yes. I like to see that kind of uh, determination in a beautiful woman's eyes, willing to do whatever it takes. Well, I'm definitely willing, Mr. Crane. Then you go very, very far. So, I gotta tell you, you know what sealed the deal for me, right? All that research you did on the security systems. Chad's project was... Didn't even mention it. You mean it actually helped? Yeah, you, you helped a lot. Are you kidding? Listen, I... I wanted... I wanted to thank you, you know, for uh, being so patient with me. I know I've been preoccupied, and I know I haven't been very nice. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just glad you won. Yeah, I did. Right? Well, I couldn't have done it without you, so... We'll, we'll get your stuff. Let's let's go. It's our it's our night. You know, celebrate. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, okay. No. Yes. What do you think? Should I take Kay out dancing too? Huh? What do you think? What do you think? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Dance. What is going on here? Could Endora be trying to counteract my spell? She couldn't. Well, she wouldn't. My spells are good. And if it all goes as planned, Kay will lose Fox as he climbs the ladder of success. That's what she wanted. And there's nothing she can do to change it. Chris. There's just nothing left here in harmony for me. I've lost everything. But I could be a mother to James. Maureen wanted me to take care of him, and you know how much I love James. Yes, I know. But what about your boy, Marty? What if they find him? No one can ever contact you when you're with me. You'd never know. I don't think there's any way to find him now. Not now that Luis is gone. Your son was kidnapped and taken out of the country. Interpol, the FBI, they've got to keep on searching. You don't understand. My father can make anyone disappear, and he does not want Marty in my life. There's always a chance, Sheridan. And I know how much you love your son and how dedicated you are to finding him. And I can't rob you of that chance. If only I thought that there were a possibility. I don't think you'll ever give up hope, Sheridan. I love you. 
but I can't let you leave with us. Officer, what are you waiting for? She admitted that she poisoned Ethan, so, so arrest her now. Mother, what's going on? Look, the last policeman was not doing his job, but I really do not see why we have to wait for an investigation. She admitted that she poisoned Ethan, so let's take her off to jail right now. Mama, please don't let them do this. She's right, officer. My son is lying in there, half dead, possibly brain damaged, and it's all her fault. Officer, she is the one who tried to kill my husband. Yes, so, so put the cuffs on her now. All right, hold, hold on, everyone. Just simmer down. All right, I need to ask some questions before I put the cuffs on anybody. Are you the doctor in charge? Yes, I'm Dr. Eve Russell. All right, Dr. Russell, first of all, can you tell me about the condition of the patient in there? Uh, Ethan Winthrop. He's critical. I'm not sure if he's going to live. And if he does survive, he may be severely brain damaged. Oh, God. And this condition was caused by drug overdose? An unintentional drug overdose. So, in other words, someone slipped into drugs? Not someone. Her. She put the drugs in the guacamole and Ethan ate it. So I want her to go to jail right now. Shut up, Rebecca. Did, did, did you not tell me to shut up, Pilar? Your slut of a daughter did this and you know it. All right. We'll find out who did what soon enough. I need to ask you to come down to the station house for questioning. And I'm sorry to hear about your brother. Your son was a fine police officer, ma'am. Thank you, uh, Officer Johnson. Officer, um, I'm not going to leave the hospital. I need to, to wait here in case something happens to Ethan. No, she does not need to be here. He is my husband. Look, I'm sorry, but if you don't come along, I'll have to place you under arrest. I'm not leaving here. Look, uh, can't you uh, question her here, somewhere in the hospital? Look, I'm sorry, Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald. The detectives will wander the station for questioning. Come along, Teresa. Officer, I'm not going to go. I'm sorry, but you are under arrest for resisting an officer. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Please, please, don't do this, please. If what you did now kills Ethan or leaves him in the state that he is now, so help me God, I'm gonna make you wish you were never born. Chris and James need to leave Harmony tonight. If Jess is a murderer, we have to stop her from killing again. Welcome home. 